Hello everyone, how's it going? Kermode here, back with another video. Today I wanted to talk about Ableton 11's new velocity and note probability features. I personally love any opportunity to introduce randomness as a sound design tool in my music and this is no exception. So to quickly summarize this technique, before we go into more depth, we will go into more depth, how it works is you can take any piece of MIDI and you can introduce two different forms of randomness. The first is a velocity range, where if you hold command and you drag, you can see we create a velocity range and the velocity will play anything within that range. So that can be one way to just have human feel added easy peasy lemon squeezy. The next one is if you open up this little section here, you can see a chance value where you can actually decrease the chance of a MIDI note being played. Currently, all the notes are sitting at a 100% chance. If we set this to 50%, well, it's a coin toss whether we're going to hear that sound. Okay, so how is this cool? How is this useful? Let me show you in the context of generating random bass patterns and grooves with absolutely no effort really. So this technique I have in mind, you need to be working in sampler because what I want is I want each MIDI note to maybe or maybe not trigger as well as possibly trigger a different sound or a different bass or a different part of a bass. So this is really easy to do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in a long recording of me manipulating a bass sound. So let me find a cool one. We're gonna set it up and we're gonna create a really fast bass pattern. When I say fast, we could probably do eighth or 16th notes even. You know what, let's double that. Okay, cool, so now there's a bass hit. Now first, let's decrease the chance that these bases occur to 75% because I don't want every single hit to happen every single time. Now let's lower it a little more. I like that. I like that. I like that. Next, let's max out the velocity range. Let's drop to the bottom, hold command, full range. Now, why would I do this? Well, check this out. I'm gonna make it so every single different velocity plays a different point in this sample. So we're gonna head back here. We're gonna set velocity to sample offset, and we're gonna set a full range. Let's resample it. Weird, wild, crazy. And you can just imagine how far you could take that. This is just one sort of velocity mapping. You can map velocity to anything nowadays, it's easy. So yeah, you can get creative. And that's just scratching the surface of the power of probability in Ableton. There's a lot of new ones actually, a lot of random buttons in Ableton. We'll cover more at a later date. I think I'm gonna end things here. So I hope you guys like this video. Please share it around, please drop a comment. And I do want to mention today's sponsor, once again, me. This time I want to mention my Facebook group, Kermode's Realm. If you guys want to hang out, talk music, share your music, ask questions, anything. I just want to start building a bit more of a community around this project, and I would like you to be a part of it. So thanks, everyone. My name's Kermode, and I'll be back soon with another video. Peace.